sometimes it's much easier to understand what we need to do in order to generate more appointments, to get more sales calls, get more clients and grow our agency than it is to know what to do. And we can learn an awful lot by learning what not to do so we can just flip it on its head and do the opposite. So in today's video, I'm gonna be walking through some things that you absolutely need to avoid when it comes to running cold emails and getting more sales calls on your calendar. So let's jump in and I will start sharing my screen. Before we do, if you don't know who I am, why should you listen to me? My name is Lawrence, I've built and scaled two different agencies Lawrence Marketing and now Hey You, where we help other agencies get more appointments on their calendar. So let's jump straight in. First thing is we, if we want to do everything wrong, we're going to download a bunch of random leads and we're not going to clean them. If we don't know where we're getting our leads from and we don't clean them, then what do you think is going to happen? Basically, no, nothing's going to land in the inbox. We're going to be speaking to the wrong type of prospects and we're going to get results that are, you know, not what we're looking for. Another thing we should do if we don't want to get more appointments on our calendar is to create one vanilla message for everyone. We also want to focus on how our service works and what's involved in the nitty gritty of our service. And we also want to make sure that we don't include an offer. We don't want to include an offer if we want appointments on our calendar. Talk about what you provide, not what your audience wants. Really important here if we want to make sure that we don't get appointments on our calendar and then we want to make sure that we talk about what we provide as opposed to what our audience wants. And we don't want to warm up any email addresses, of course, because we want to make sure that all of our emails land in spam and we want to send everything from either our existing domain or from just one additional email address or one additional domain. And we want to send everything from a standard CRM system. We don't want to use a tailored specific software to send out cold emails. We want to make sure that we're sending everything from one standard CRM system. Now, of course, all of this is what we want to do if we want to make sure that we don't get more appointments on our sales calendar. As I said, this is a little bit stupid, but if we understand what not to do, then it's going to make our life an awful lot easier and give us a really clear understanding of what we should do. So if we start back off at the top here, download leads and don't clean them. Obviously, the opposite of that is cleaning leads, but we can go into much more depth around all of these different levels we can we can kind of flip it on its head and do the opposite or we can do the opposite to the extreme the more kind of extreme you go on all of these bullet points the better the results are going to be but the problem that we see so many times is people say oh well, i'm not going to do that because it's not very scalable i'm not going to do this because it takes up too much time it takes up too much energy and what they end up doing is they create this kind of wishy-washy boring vanilla same same system that everybody else has and they get the same results that everybody else gets because they don't go to that nth degree to create something that is really effective. And the reason they don't do it is because they try and create something that is scalable. When what is much easier, and I kind of find myself repeating myself all the time, is that you want to create something that works, not that is scalable. Because it's so much easier to scale something that works as opposed to find something that works and is scalable at the same time. When I'm saying this, think about not only how can I do the opposite of each of these bullet points, but how can I do them to a level and to a degree that nobody else will do them? Hey, just real quick, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to let you know of our brand new free course that we have just launched that takes you through how to book more appointments on your sales calendar through cold email. The course is completely free, it comes with a free community as well where there's live calls where you can ask me anything get your questions answered the second link in the description is going to take you to the free course as i say completely free it's going to walk you through how to get success from your cold email campaigns so i will leave it there and enjoy the rest of the video so downloading leads and don't clean them we could for example instead of going through these softwares and downloading a bunch of leads we could hand source leads by going through different websites we could get a va to do that on our behalf and then we could clean them and we could then once we've cleaned them we could clean them again or clean them on a different software and make sure that one software hasn't kind of missed a few and we want to make sure that everything is squeaky clean up to date and you've got the perfect lead list that is going the extra mile than just kind of downloading them and cleaning them and of course there is diminishing returns at play here at certain levels but it's just putting you in the mindset of doing things that other people aren't doing that's how you're going to get results that other people don't get instead of creating one vanilla message for everybody you would create an exciting message for each individual person that's the opposite how exciting how personalized how far along that scale do you go but making sure that you 
at least come across as if you are creating a completely personalized message for each individual prospect, that's how you're going to get better results. And if you actually do create a personalized email and kind of message to each individual prospect, guess what? You're going to get even better results. Talk about how your service works. What's the opposite of that? The opposite is not talking about your service, but talking about your outcomes that your service delivers. So talking not about the thing that you do, but what the thing that you do generates. So instead of talking about SEO, you might talk about more leads, more inquiries, more calls, more clients. So don't focus on what you're doing, focus on the result that what you're doing provides. Don't include an offer. So obviously one of the most effective ways to, one of the biggest levers I should say that you can pull to improve the performance of your cold outbound campaigns is with a solid offer. I've gone into many more videos about how to create a cold friendly offer and a compelling offer, but we wanna make sure that we are again, focusing on that desired outcome and giving somebody a reason to take action and want to speak with you. Next bullet point is talk about what you provide not what your audience wants. So again, time and time again, see a huge problem here is people have a system they have something that they do and then they try and find people that want what they have and what is way easier is to find what people want and then just provide them with that so it's like you're trying to put like a something square through a round hole and it's just not going to fit or something round through a square hole it just isn't going to fit it's not an easy thing to do you're trying to make something fit with something else and neither really want what the other has so instead just find the thing that your audience wants and offer them that thing and talk about that in your messaging. So again, some people might say, my audience wants more leads. Well, they do want more leads, but what do they want from those leads? Well, they might want qualified appointments. They might want actual clients. So instead of figuring out like what your audience wants in a way that suits you, which is again, what everybody else is gonna be doing, you wanna think about what does your audience actually want? So they probably want more clients more customers how can you do that because 99 percent of agency owners aren't going to do that last bit that makes all the difference where you can do something different you can do things that nobody else is doing in order to get the results that nobody else is experiencing and achieving so it's all about making sure that you're doing the extra stuff to get the extra results and that's the kind of common theme for not only outreach, but for kind of running your business in general. Next one, don't warm up email addresses. Again, so opposite is warming up email addresses. How long do you warm them up for? Who do you warm them up with? What software do you use? Do you use multiple softwares? Do you hire somebody to track the performance of it? Do you go on Upwork, go on Fiverr and find a specialist that will warm them up better for you than just a standard email warm up software? So again, there's different degrees of how well you do all of these things. And in business, it's really just about making sure that you do everything at the best possible way that you can and you'll get Get much better results as a as a result send everything from your existing domain or one email address so the opposite of this is sending them not from your existing domain and sending them from multiple email addresses how many emails do you send out from each email address the more emails that you send from each email address over time the the worse that email address is going to perform so the more email addresses you have the better your ads the better your emails sorry are going to perform so think about kind of what level do I go to to ensure the highest deliverability? And then sending everything from a standard CRM system. So from a MailChimp, from an active campaign, from a HubSpot, that's going to send everything from, again, one email address or one server, and it's not going to work very well. And that's why CRM systems have a much lower open rate than specialized systems like instantly.ai, for example. So making sure that you do your research that maybe instead of not using a CRM system, that you actually go one step further and you say, okay, we're going to use a specialized software. And I'm not going to use one specialized software. I'm going to purchase five specialized softwares and I'm going to see which one works the best, which one gets the best open rates, which one has the best options and the best different things inside the software that work best for my business that allow me to do the things that I want to do in my campaign. So instead of just kind of jumping into one and just saying this one will do, figuring out which one works best for you. So again, kind of common theme here is just making sure that you go above and beyond at every single stage of your process when it comes to sending out cold emails. If you do want help doing this, if you want help getting those kind of abnormal results by doing abnormal inputs, because that's what it's all about. And the first link in the description is for you. We're going to explain exactly how we can help install a proven system into your business that's going to spit out appointments on a regular basis for you. So click that first link below if you want our help achieving this. And if you've got value from this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.